some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. We already had bad omen signs waiting for us. Like we were not ready to see what we encountered. Here are some pictures of what we saw in the backyard. There is more that we found at this house. Keep on watching for more. Now, before arriving to the abandoned house, here are some responses that we have gotten. I'm already getting the heebie-jeebies. Heavy chest feeling. The camera kind of focused. Feel like something grabbed a tripod. about to go in. Walking up to here, something grabbed my tripod, the bottom part of it. Smell is different. It smells like death. It smells like a dead body in here. Like something's rotting. This smell was not like this before. Now, as you could probably tell, the camera's glitching. I'm not sure if that was there last time, or it may have been moved. I'm back, demon. Can you say hello?
where joy comes in here. You cannot harm Joey. Stop trying to grab a hold onto my tripod. You cannot have my tripod. So, whenever we do start the investigation, we gotta be careful. I think that soap bottle moved. I gotta look at the previous video we did here. But, uh, Joey's in the car. And I'm in here by myself. Making sure we're both good. Feel free to talk to the camera at any point in time. There's a noise back over there. Right there again. And just to let y'all know. Oh. That scared me. That was weird. Check on him. That scared me. My heart's racing, y'all. Oh man, that's why I want to make sure Joy's okay. Because I want to check this place out to make sure we're good for us. Make sure there's no squatters living in here. Okay, here we go. I was shuffling after I walked upstairs. Hello? I'm feeling something right here. I'm a right arm. Right after I walked, I heard shuffling. There was footsteps or movement upstairs.
check upstairs real fast before I bring Chloe in. There was movement. Is that a hiss? Look at all this stuff on the floor. Okay, let's check what. That always is upstairs. Anybody out there? Being up by myself in the house. There's nothing up here. Can't wait to replay that footage. Now, I haven't checked through that door yet right there, so. That was loud too. Okay, so. No squatters are in here, so that's good. It'll just be us in here. But there was a weird noise up on the second floor. So that's good, we're good. But nobody else is here besides us. Again, I explored this house by myself before I break Joey in. Make sure we're good. Insulation. One last thing to check. That's just the sound of the floor caving in. Nothing in the washer of the unusual. So that's good. See, nothing. So, exploration part is finished. Now I'm going to get ready to start the investigation. Going to bring Joy in here. And then we're going to get started. Alright, Joy's right behind me. We're going to get ready to go inside and start the investigation. Let's do this.
You cannot touch us, hurt us, or do anything uh, to harm us. You gotta stay, you cannot hurt us at all. Was that there before? Yeah. The bird's nest, I'm not sure. It might be new. But that blanket, yes. Right now I'm setting up the tripod. All right, about to get started. Camera's facing towards the front of the house right there. Has the camera facing towards that room in case anything comes through or out of that room. Gonna place the cap on right there, same as last time where we caught the cap on to go off on the live stream. It is currently 1.50 in the morning and we're gonna get started. As you all know, my name is Dylan. We are gonna be investigating this house where Joey got attacked by a demon. In the video, you see he was laying right here in this area. His hands were on his stomach like the spirit, the entity, the demon, the demonic entity has caused him his illness to make him nauseous and sick and feeling bad. So we came back with him here so that way he could face the demon. We are going to say a prayer that Archangel Michael, we're going to say it together to make sure there be no attachments and make sure we are both safe at the end and through this investigation. All right, let's do this. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humble pray and do thou, O Prince of the heaven, heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Alright, so we said the prayer. I made sure we said the prayer before we started the investigation to Michael the Archangel for our protection through this investigation. So we're gonna get started and let's see what we can find. And let's see what kind of answers we could get here at this bedded house. That strong smell is gone. Alrighty. So, after saying that prayer, Joy did point out one thing. If you recall in the beginning of the video, I, I said I smelled was something like, smelled like death, like something dead in here. I want to check by the kitchen area. And if I smell the same smell in the kitchen area, I will let you know. If not, I will give you an update. Alright, I'm going to walk in the kitchen now. So, I am getting chills, as you all see. Now the smell, what I smelled in the beginning, it's gone. Right after we said the prayer. Yeah, when we came from this door, uh, I smelled it right immediately in this corner. Now I don't smell it no more. So right after we said the Michael Archangel prayer, the smell disappeared and went away. So that was really cool. And over here is where the smell is where it was at. Like right on here. It's where Joey smelt it. Kind of like it was like lingering. But I smelt it throughout the whole entire house. But now it's like gone. So that was very strong and cool of that prayer that we both said. So, 
Hammer face the doors here. Bruce, did you follow us? If so, could you turn off that mag light that I laid down? Thank you. Thank you. Orb. Thank you. I'm gonna turn it right back on after the orb popped up. Thank you for that, Bruce. Very much appreciate it. Are you Bruce? Capo. Thank you, Bruce, for turning on the capo. Bruce, if that was you, could you sit off that same capo again, please? I know you're showing us your energy right now. And we appreciate that. There's a spirit right there. Mm -hmm. I'm not alone. We know you're not. So I know Bruce followed us to the... Was that you? Possibly. That was loud. Kept on again. Right after I heard that too. Can you go up to the K2 meal please? It's right next to the doorway. I want to bring out the red pod. And I'm going I dedicated to... my life. So there is a spirit right there when it was like setting off both devices. <clears throat> Cut that yes. And it said yes. So there was a spirit sending out those two devices the mag light and the cat ball. And of course, I accidentally belched because I just had some dinner before the investigation. So I'm going to leave that in there. That's kind of like a blooper of the belch. But uh, that confirms there is a spirit. Setting off those two devices there before I was getting the red pot out. So definitely go to leave that in there That was cool. Yeah, that could be like a funny blooper You can always have fun doing a paranormal investigation too. All right this here there's a red pot. Uses energy from the spirits. And it's a reset for recognition. button. Recognition. For recognition. Recognition. This is the reset button. I'm gonna place it here. Now, during a live stream, when Rusty, me, and Amber, and Jocelyn was here, we were able to get the red pot to go off. Now it's up 45 minutes on a live stream to have it set off. Let's see what we can capture here. Feel free to walk over to the red pot, please. Attitude. 
I do not have no attitude. Did one of y'all had an attitude before y'all passed away? I want to move it like back to the backpack. you had a good life it so can you turn off the math light you said something not after that I heard no spirit did not have a good life was it constant attitudes between both of y'all All right, so before I go up upstairs to place the uh, GoPro on a second floor with a cat ball up there, response came through saying secret land. In a violent storm. Secret land in a violent storm. And there is an abandoned car on the property, so we're going to check that out tonight as well. Soon as I mentioned about that too. Do you want us to investigate that abandoned car? It's so light up the wind, Paul, please. I heard a yes. What 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 will we find in the abandoned car? No. If y'all know what that said, comment section below, please. Cat ball. Thank you for that. Yes, thank you. I want to set this GoPro up if you want to follow me. I heard I do. Good and cheap only, please. All right, I got one cat ball. Here's the cap on the place. I'm gonna go up to the second floor right now. Be safe. Hello. <laughs> Alright, I'm going upstairs. Going up the stairs, placing the GoPro on the second floor with cap on. Going upstairs. There's the GoPro right there by the attic area of the crawl space. Got the cap over right here. I'll place it right by the crawl space. Right there. Okay. Y'all let me know. Barrett, feel free to touch that cat ball, please.
Thank you, Spirit, if you turn, turn it on. I appreciate you. What's up, y'all? All right, so I'm gonna focus back over to the first floor. Let's go. Going off, it was. Well, there we go. There's a spirit right there. Whoa, don't tell me the video light already died. Alrighty, we literally just charged it. That's why it's been setting off so much. See, you're not doing it again. What when I say that? That's because it's using the energy off this video light here. See. That's why. I can my phone up too. You got some answers. Alrighty, so we definitely got some evidence here and all that. So that's great. Um, the GoPro, the video lights keep going off. I'm not sure if you still see me. Can you still see me? And they can. Alright. GoPro's on the second floor. The video lights keep going off. Spirit definitely drained the video light to get energy because the cow ball keeps on going off. So the spirit's right here and I'm feeling the bruise right here too. We're going to get ready to walk on the upside down cross. Charge that fully charged too with as much as wild. Yeah. Definitely stop. Take it. That spirit. Hopefully, the cat ball on the second floor went off. I will review that footage. If it did, went off. I will get my flashlight so that way we can film the upside down cross. It is 2.20 in the morning. Recap of what went on. We had red pot activity. The death smell with God after we said the Michael Archangel protection prayer. Cat ball communication. Mag light communication. Right now, checking to make sure that we got everything 
I always double check to make sure I got my equipment with me and it looks like I do so now we're going to walk on the upside down cross here we go Each time we're walking, mm -hmm. each time we're walking, mm -hmm. it kind of sounds like a car passing by. It's weird. Look at this back here. Again, our satellite view, top down view. It has like an abandoned car. Our house lights nearby. Let's check out this garage. Holy fuck. And if you recall, at your mom, at your mom's house, dead body. I mentioned about a dead body. Yeah. And look, there's a dead body. I was right. That really is what happened to the dead, but still fresh. Something told me to come back here. Upside down cross land. Sacrifice possibly. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, y'all. I know some of y'all might not like to see this, but it has to be shown. Like, I'm about to cry. Look at that. This is real, this is not fake. That's real blood. My gift is real. I mentioned about a dead body at Joyce's mom's house. He could tell you. Mm -hmm, he did. And then a uh, spirit name of Bruce said about warning us. Yeah, I know that did not happen years ago. But this this is, is fresh, good. yes. Blood splatter, look at that. It's been attacked. This is creepy, y'all. I'm nervous.
prayers to this animal. Lord Jesus, please. Holy shit. And I believe it happened a week ago. Hold the flashlight, I want to take a picture. One is leg is missing. No, oh, it's coming up. I'm gonna take a picture over here. Y'all do nope. styrofoam. Y'all definitely share this video out. This is a real deer. Pretty sure it could be used as a sacrifice, cause look how it's laid. No wonder Joey got almost attacked or possessed. A dead deer though? Yeah, and we pray to Michael Archangel to remove that evil and that death smell is not there no more. That is just scary. It's a good thing I didn't walk any further, I tripped over it. Yeah. That's why I was wanted to look out here first. Well, not really first, but uh my left ear. Swinging. Yeah, like somebody's trying to talk to me. Stay behind me, Joe. I see headlights. When I say run, we run. But it literally got skinned. Now there could be a dead body. If I see a dead body in that car after seeing that dead deer, oh my word, if y'all don't share this out. <laughs> I'm on edge right now, folks. There is that car. This is an upside down cross. And I am getting chills. Look at that. Hair standing up. This is the freakiest shit ever. It's a Volvo, I think. Old Volvo. Chevy or a Volvo. I was right being a Volvo. It is a Volvo, yes. That's their symbol. We're near the upside down cross. Yeah, what it looks like, yeah. Stay back, Joe. Okay. No dead body in there. Thankfully. Y'all make this go viral. This needs a viral video. Nope, I don't see it. I'm not that's that looks like a body. Nope. So that's good, yeah. Now back here is a tree house. Could be a body up in here. But my intuition was right. My gift was right. Um, it, it, it was Connor's uh, treehouse. Connor's treehouse, possibly, yeah. Get that, there's a kid room, and that only kid I can really think of. Right. You 
get it in. It's full of stuff. Nope. You can. Oh, that's cool. I don't want to go full of my bait. Fresh but... water bottles, too. Take a picture. Y'all see that? Took some pictures for you all. We closed it back yes. respectfully. of an army fort for some reason okay so we gotta walk there to there okay here so the flashlight dropped Walk over here. You can not knock the flashlight out of my hand, Spirit. I may have to go live. I'm not sure. Look at this creepy trail. Leads to the upside down cross. Let me know when we're getting close. We're getting close to it. You see how it's designed. Flashlight is dimming. Worth sounds as soon as approaching to the uh, upside down cross now. It may just be a car. Who knows? But it's weird as we haven't heard it for a while. But as soon as we approach to the upside down cross, we heard weird noises. Alright, do we go straight? We make right, uh, left, not a right. Upside down crosses over here. See how there's like a path right here? Makes you think somebody else has already been here before. Once we get to the path, we'll be okay. It'll be less tall grass. Walk through. I know we got spider webs all over us. Here it is, right here. Right at the top of the upside down cross. I almost slipped. That's the perks. Walking on an upside down crawls. You slip and fall. That leads to the left, I think. No, it's up here. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, that leads to the right. And that leads to the left. And go straight down. Water, gas. Did you hear that? No. It's to the left. There could be your shoes squeaking though from the water. Where are we at at the map now? Alright, so yeah. It's upside down across, so that would be like like I said, one there to the left where that water gas is and the one to the right, but it's overgrown with all the rain. And it just shoots all the way down here but it's designed as an upside down cross we just seen a dead deer but we're walking it for you all as promised surrounded by woods like I said share the heck out of this video that was a gruesome scene of what we encountered. But that's part of a uh, urbexing, exploring. You find dead bodies, dead animals, stuff like that. In the better places, you know? Mm -hmm. So. We're getting close to the end. We are? Yes. We're getting close to the end. Seeing if anything's there. So. I'm already getting out of breath. It is humid out after the rain that we had yesterday, and it's foggy. Just look how scary this is, though. I want to turn on the video light for a minute to see if it can have a little bit of juice left. Not much, but uh, it's decent. For the juice level. At the end it's like semi over there. And we will show you we walked all the way to the end on the phone. See the stars. Are to the end yet? Almost. Four bars. So still good on light. It goes way back here, don't it? Be careful. We almost fell. We made it towards the end of it, across. Now I'm gonna walk back. This has been Dylan and Joey with KPE Paranormal Urbex of what we did an investigation here at the demon house. We caught amazing evidence here, got some answers, and we came upon something very, very disturbing. And that, tragic. And tragic, disturbing, 
that made me tear up. It really did make me tear up. The responses were on response and it was true to the story. The cat ball was going nuts. Great communication with the mag light. Overall, it was a great night. I hope you all liked this video. Make sure to leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. As we promised, we walked on the upside down cross of this house as you just seen. So y'all definitely share this video out. We've seen a lot of this place already and we may go back in the future, we may not. Y'all decide, smash the like button, share this video out, and I'll see you on the next one. KPE Paranormal Urbex, Dylan and Joey, love and peace.